what is good we're back i got a lot of problems with you people i got a lot of problems with you people now nah, we're gonna uh we've been in some rookie drafts from ffpc around mother's day to a couple uh mother's wrapping day. up here recently and you know i got a i got a i got a problem that I want to talk about. I don't think it's any secret. We've talked about it a little bit before, but I wanted to just have a, a small little video here that's on its own and, and try to figure out and understand why this might be happening. If you've listened to us on a regular basis, you, you've you heard all this. You know. I don't know if you've heard quite all of it. It doesn't matter. It's going to be short, sweet, and, and you, it probably doesn't matter to you anyway, and you're probably just going to say, well, the athletic profile is better, so mm, here we go. That's all that matters for running backs. But... I don't understand why anybody's drafting Rashad White in the first round, and I certainly don't understand why anybody's drafting Rashad White over uh, Spiller. Isaiah. Now, with that being said, I know that their ADP and I know where they're drafted is different, so you don't have to take Spiller if you were planning on taking Rashad White at the end of the first round. I've seen him as high as 1-7 to 1-9 to 1-10 to 1-12 to 2-1 to 2-2. And, I, you know, just take somebody else in the first round. Or trade back. Definitely. And then you get into that 2-2 area. Again, if Dotson's there, you should probably just take him or trade back if you want Spiller. And I, I, I believe I have Spiller ranked ahead of White, and I know that I don't have to do that. And you can trade back a couple picks and just pick up a little something extra. Rookie rankings, patreon.com slash CFF Dynasty. For sure. So, you know, I... The, the community, Spiller turns 21 in August. He's 20 currently. White turns 24 at next season, at the end of the season. So he's 23 currently. Straight facts. Um, you know, and I get, all right, so there's draft capital involved. You got one guy who was picked 327, and one guy was picked 418. So there's, because one guy was picked in the third round, and one guy was picked in the fourth round. 327? There's no way, Yeah. The 27th, Wait, the, pick the, 27th the pick in the third There's round. There's no way that and he went that, to Tommy. There's no way. Forever. There's no way that Spiller could be as good as him because the workout metrics weren't as good, and that one guy was drafted in the mid, pretty much late third round. Um, and Didn't the, you know that Spiller's still running his four? And the other basically? guy is drafted in, at four eighteen, and you We're know still waiting for him to finish his forty. We got Keyshawn Vaughn on the roster, and he was drafted in the third round, twelfth pick. Mm. Geo's still on the on the roster, like you Strong know they brought video him last we did year. About Keyshawn Vaughn being overvalued, and and you know coming, I, I'd I'd buy Vaughn at, for super cheap at the end of drafts right now. Like Vaughn showed a little bit, and maybe has a little bit more trust built up with what's going on inside that organization at the very end of very deep drafts. I don't Not understand. We're just handing that second duty to White when you know Vaughn was picked in the third round higher than white but because it was two years ago going into the third year like there's no way that vaughn could be jockeying for position or or really hurting a little bit of white and that geo was coming in to be uh james white for this team and then got hurt and didn't see the field much and you know geo's a little older but he's, he's still there dead. um and meanwhile leonard fournette was like third in the league in running back receptions last year so Tommy obviously has confidence in him. I get it. Lenny gets a little banged up and can miss some time, and you want to take you want Lenny to be ready for the playoffs, which is the same argument I could use for Spiller and Eckler. Um, so you know, there it seems like there's a lot more competition on that roster, and I, you know, the same people who are going to scoff at Vaughn were the same people who were taking Vaughn in the first round. Mm, um, scoff it at Spiller. No, the same people who are going to scoff at yeah, you're right. Uh, scoff it at. No, the scoff at Vaughn now are the same people who are probably drafting Vaughn in the first round that's saying he's not competition for White. And it's like, maybe not. I don't know. He's been there. He knows the system. Sort of like uh, Tom's not going to, you know, you know why Vaughn wasn't seeing any run? Because he probably couldn't get his shit straight. Um, yeah. and, and Tom's not going to put up with that. Now you got a new guy in there with White and maybe he gets it right. Maybe he doesn't like. What I don't really understand is all, automatically the age people would be like, all right, well, you know, White's so old. Um, He's basically on his You know where he dominated college? Already. Mount St. Antonio College. Mount San Antonio College, rather. Rashad like, White? Rashad White. That's where he went to college first. Now, I'm not the guy to sit here and shit on these guys who didn't get recruited and went to the other places, but a lot of people certainly are, and these same people who are drafting white at this spot are probably those damn same people. 
The fact that he does nothing in his transfer year, which and those same people would be like, well, why don't he do anything in his transfer year? Then he comes up at 22 and puts up 1,000 yards and 43 receptions in Pac-12 play. Like, okay, and then he has a nice 40. Okay, well, when you watch him on the field, that 40 doesn't look quite like he's good in a straight line. He's kind of got that old man YMCA. He does figure out how to get around the corner. And, and I, it's, none of this is because I dislike White. I just don't understand why he just get, is getting propped up so high. Um, meanwhile, Spiller is a top 10 recruit, started all three years in the SEC, uh, got on the field in all three of those years, led the a and in rushing his entire career, basically, and then added 74 more catches on that career total. So it's like... I don't really understand what's going on here. And then furthermore, like, yeah, White might be tied to Brady for maybe a year, maybe two. Lenny's under contract for those two years. Whether Lenny makes it that far or not, we don't know. The other guy, and and like I said, there's a little bit more competition, I believe, on that roster, running back depth-wise. The other guy went to L.A., which arguably could be just as good of an offense with Herbert going into his third year. Um, And... You know, meat could be tied to Herbert for his entire career if they really wanted to be. Eckler's 27, been had a ton of injuries. If you go look at that injury history, it's ridiculous. He's playing for peanuts. He should probably hold out. They've been dying for a guy. Justin your, Jackson's not even on this Eckler. roster anymore, which would be the biggest endangerment to Spiller not being able to get that uh, that other role. And the other guys are Josh Kelly and Larry, Larry. Roundtree and Letty Brown, uh, which, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, just seems like for whatever reason, because one guy ran a fast 40 and the other guy didn't run a fast 40. Both guys can catch like Spiller was fantastic in the SEC. It just seems ridiculous to me that you've just all of a sudden propped up white on this pedestal and shot Spiller way down here that there's, you know, there's no chance that they should even be near the same pedestal. And I, I would, I'm ranking Spiller ahead. I like, I like the player. I like the tape. I like everything better except for the 40 time. It's the only thing I don't like better. Um, so what are your thoughts here? I, I don't, I don't get it either. I don't get why I, I can't, I can't for the life of me understand why someone would take Rashad White in the first round, which I think people have kind of backed off on that. But if you had an early rookie draft, people were doing that I don't shit. know how much they backed I've seen off it. of it. I mean, maybe somewhat. I've definitely seen it, and I've seen it early in the second round, and, and it's just We like, had three FFPC 250 drafts, and he got drafted in the first round in all of them. Yeah, that's wild. I mean, you can't – it's just because of Tommy, I get Like, you just can't bank because on him now Lenny for very sucks, much long. Some, like, I and don't nobody's know. ever liked Lenny. No one ever wants to give him All credit. He does is Unless be... you had Lenny on your team, you probably still don't understand how fucking good Lenny is. Right. And how many balls he's caught. Regardless, of, like, he's a good – pure runner but he's also really figured out in the passing game in the pass protection game and he Tommy caught one less him. ball than austin eckler last year and and Ooh, five less than harris facts 100 100 i i don't get it from a longevity of the offense standpoint i don't get it from the incumbent is not that much better standpoint i don't get it from uh, well, well the incumbent it, one guy is a workhorse incumbent the other guy is not a workhorse incumbent right like and who definitely gets hurt way more than eckler has been has a way longer injury history than leonard fournette right. what's kept leonard fournette off the field is leonard fournette and it seems like leonard fournette has figured it out um He's figured it out with the Bucks. He had it figured out early on with the Jags. Like he is a beast and has earned Tommy's trust. These rookie running backs can't come in and get Tommy's trust. You know, it's yeah. tough. And and he's got an uphill battle to playing time, whereas Spiller is basically the RB two there. There's been, you know, they're like he could earn the RB two role. Like, man, he's fucking better. He's than definitely going to earn that RB two role unless he's a young, immature guy. He's going to, which he and, is and, only twenty. And he is definitely better than Josh Kelly. Yeah, he's there's not even Josh a question. Kelly, he's better than Larry Roundtree. He's and I could argue like that he's got an easier path to be the one B than than White has a path to be the one B. On Tommy's team, right? I just he I can don't do really understand. From a passing standpoint, it, it just you, you knew he wasn't going to blaze in the forty time, but he had an ab- abdominal strain. He was a little banged up running those drills. He probably shouldn't fuck. have ran it. Who cares? He leaves behind a crime scene. He is a monster, and he he crushed through the SEC. And and people are just it's just the recency bias, man. And like 
the, the height adjusted speed score is no good, so he couldn't be any good. Like the, the, they, the analytical the, community puts a lot of value in athleticism behind the running back, and that's why they didn't value. Uh, that's wh- that's why you had to take Miles Sanders over David Montgomery, and that's why David Montgomery was the worst pick you could ever make in your fucking rookie draft. Right. Look how that turned out. Like the, you, you just need to be good at playing football, and you need to be able to watch whether these guys are good at playing football. And Isaiah Spiller is good at running the rock, and he can catch, and, again, and he can do a lot of different things. It's not an indictment on White at all. It's just I don't understand how we got here. Like, I'm gonna, I'm ranking, I'm ranking, taking Spiller over White 100 times out of 100, and I'm swapping that draft pick down to do so because I do want – I get it. I want the running back in a, in, a, in a rookie draft, especially in that early second round if, you know, David Bell – is off the board, then you know. Let me get. Let me trade back a couple picks and let David me get Bell Spiller. And Johan Dotson and well, Christian Watson. If Dotson's Watson. anywhere in that second round, which he is perennially disrespected, and maybe all the hype right now is going to change that. Um, but and, and George Pickens, I got to get all those guys. But then I those won't. are all pretty much first rounders, though, for the most uh, part. Yeah, Dotson's that, the one that kind of floats back. That squeezes into the you know two one two 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 three, but like two four. I, I'm looking at Spiller. Yeah, I mean, I, I and I'll try, you know, I'll trade back a, a spot or two if if I if if White's still on the board and Spiller's still on the board just just to get you know a little bit of something and Spiller. I, like I said, yeah. there's it's there's so many things here that don't add up. From like I get like the analytical community as far as the testing was good, but like it just seems like there'd be a whole bunch of red flags for them that they argue against other guys. But the since, the, since the testing was good and he caught a bunch of balls in one season, and now he's on Tampa, like he's got to be awesome and it's like yeah i think he's fine but like that situation could completely change next year for the worse for tampa the situation for for isaiah spiller could change for the better because eckler could be out of there or eckler you know he's he's not getting any younger and he's not right. getting any healthier and he's underpaid and Man, just, yeah, the big thing about don't... Spiller for us was that like there's a, there's a chance that Eckler could really honestly hold out because he's not getting paid a whole lot, and um, they want to take some and, burden and maybe off Eckler. They want to preserve Eckler. And you're not in your last year up. of of Herbert being cheap. At some point, you're going to pay Herbert. You got to pay him as much as you just paid Deshaun Watson. Everyone, yeah, you got to, yeah, like. You're yep. going to. There's no way you can't. Like you so see what the Chargers money. are doing right now. They're they're putting all their chips in to try to figure it out how to win right now. Because at some point they're going to have a three hundred million dollar quarterback probably on their roster. Um, so you know this could be an easy team for Spiller to really take control of by next year. And you know I don't know uh, if if White is going to be afforded that same luxury. So. I uh, just wanted to come on here, talk a little shit. Again, I don't hate White <laughs> like by any means. It's I not like an White. indictment on White. It, I, I'm intrigued by White too, but it just, he, just like we were intrigued by Trey Sermon, but not the, to the level that he got elevated right. in these rookie drafts. And it was to the point where we were just like, don't tra- take Trey Sermon. Don't take Rashad White because you can't take him where you have to take him. You just can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, and take Spiller, maybe. Yeah. Don't make the same mistake you made with Vaughn with White. Vaughn and people. fucking Trey Sermon. Y'all elevated them boys up into the first round because they had to catch passes from Tommy. And it's just like, well, no. Uh, Vaughn wasn't there. Uh, Tommy wasn't there when, when Vaughn got there, I don't think, originally. Maybe not. I think he might have came in. I'm not 100% sure those timelines exactly line up. And then Lenny did kind of come in there. But and Lenny was there. Lenny got cut, and then Lenny came in and, and muddied up some waters a little bit, but even more in the positive check mark for maybe Vaughn muddying up White's secondary role here so yeah because oh, vaughn did show some there was the there was some season. juice there on a couple on a couple runs there from, from hit, vaughn hit, but hit some dropped some balls and and did some silly things so you better protect tommy all, all you're hearing some guy comes in and can catch passes so he's tommy's white he's tommy's james white and that's that's basically why you're drafting this white there that's pretty much it you can say whatever you want to say but What's that's why you're drafting him. for james white isn't that high well, it was for a very brief One period season. of time, like a season and a half. Um, it was awesome. Um, Two seasons, it was. You top know what? That's 25. probably not like Tom's got plenty of weapons here. Like there's yeah. it's not. There was a reason why White was getting Gronk what he was going to get, but, but whatever. He'll be back. Cameron Brate's fine. How, his agent's like he didn't really. They brought retire. in Gage, which whatever. I mean, but he he can Gage is gonna he can be just balls, fine. Yeah. Godwin will be back. Evans is good. Um, they got some other receivers on there. Lenny's going to be taking up, you know, 60, 70 percent of that workload. So um, and then split it up between t- potentially Geo, Vaughn and White. So anyway, stop ruining your rookie drafts. 
by drafting this guy and draft this guy? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Well, listen, if you don't hate us by now, definitely let me get a like and a subscribe and a comment if you're on the podcast. Hit that five-star review, Spotify, iTunes. I know you got one of those, two. You just go tap the five stars. That's all you got to do for your boys. Go to RevelryBrewingCo.com. Cop a t-shirt. I laid out the title on your thumbnail right there for you. Was that it? That was it. Stop ruining your rookie drafts. I take your shot. Put a silhouette and some question marks. (laughs) Yeah. And like one of Which these. one? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll see you next time. We'll be back with something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But we're, we're recording tomorrow night. We need to figure out what it is. Oh, I got lots of lots, we're of, lots of stuff coming at you. <laughs> All right. We'll see y'all for next time. Pleasure. Peace.